I have just been to see Her Majesty the Queen, who has invited me to form a government, and I have accepted. It has become clear that there are pessimists at home and abroad who will think after three years of indecision that this country has become a prisoner to the old arguments of 2016. We're going to fulfill the repeated promises of Parliament to the people and come out of the EU on October the 31st, no ifs or buts. And we will do a new deal, a better deal, that will maximise the opportunities of Brexit while allowing us to develop a new and exciting partnership with the rest of Europe based on free trade and mutual support. And create a new partnership with our European friends, as warm, as close and as affectionate as possible. And the first step is to repeat unequivocally our guarantee to the 3.2 million EU nationals now living and working among us. And I can assure you that under this government, you will have the absolute certainty of the right to live and remain in life. Safer streets and better education and fantastic new road and rail infrastructure with higher wages, higher living wage, higher productivity. We close the opportunity gap, giving millions of young people the chance to own their own homes. I say yes, there will be difficulties, though I believe that with energy and application, they will be far less serious. But if there is one thing that has really sapped the confidence of business over the last three years, it is not the decisions we have taken, it is our refusal to take decisions. And to those who say we cannot be ready, I say, do not underestimate this country.